All right, so today I'm going to show you how to fix uh, intermittent wipers that bounce or jump. Here, let me, I'll show you what I mean. Let me squirt a little on here. See when they go down? They actually stop. Not cool. All right, so the way we're going to start here is, uh, there's a few bolts we got to remove, one down in there and one on the wiper arm. We're going to take both of those off on each side. There's another set over there. And then also under hood, there's a few clips holding this cowl on. We're going to undo those. Uh, just a couple of screwdrivers is all you need, unless you got a panel removal tool. It works very nice. Uh, so let me get some of these off and I'll be back. Okay. So now I remove the 10 millimeter bolts um, down in here on each side, the 15 millimeter wiper arm bolt. You're going to want to mark with masking tape, as I did here, the location of each one of the wipers so that when we put this back together, we've got a reference point. Then I mentioned the panel removal under here, so obviously under hood. We need to remove the cowl. See? There's a few of these bolts here, these little snap-in connectors. There's one there, there's one there, one there, and another one on the other side that you're going to want to pop up. And then here, and I loosen this up, as you can see, we're going to want to remove the antenna so that we can get that cowl off. This is pretty straightforward. You get the idea, okay? Next step, I'm going to put the hood down and we're going to remove the wiper arms using a battery terminal puller. Alright, so I tried this a few weeks ago using screwdrivers to get the wiper arms off and it was, it was not happening. So I went out and got me one of these trusty little guys, battery terminal puller, and I know it'll work on these wiper arms. This was like $10 or so, got it at Pet Boys, any major auto parts store will have it. Uh, so now we're going to use this to pull up the wiper arms off the, the nut. Get a good shot of that for you. Okay. okay, so this shows the term, the puller, I'm sorry, in position. Uh, you have to move this out of the way. You use a screwdriver or something to pry that out so you can get in there good enough. So I put a little pressure on this and it's not wanting to come off. So we're going to hit it with a little bit of WD-40 or, uh, you know, a penetrant. Let this soak in for a little bit so we can get that off. And when I'm successful, I'll, uh, we'll be back. Okay, success. PB blaster and a little patience. We got that one off. Now we got the terminal position and we'll take off the passenger side wiper the same way. Okay? Remember the marks on the windshield so we know where to put these wipers when we're done. And uh, antenna's off as you can see. Okay, so we've removed the uh, passenger wiper arm uh, and then I popped off this little cowl here and put this underneath the hood. I've got the uh, wiper hose connected over there. Wiper fluid, I'm sorry. So we're we just brought this in here to give us more room to work. Now we're going to remove uh, the wiper motor assembly itself. There's two bolts we're going to remove. Let me see if you can see them here. Uh, this one right here. And then the other one on the other side over here. And what that's going to do is take this entire assembly and uh, let us remove it from the vehicle. Uh, the motor, hopefully you can see. Wiper motor itself is here. Um, you can see the power connector. So what we're going to do is free this up so we can get in there and uh, access the motor itself. So I'm going to remove those bolts, uh, the two on either end here, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so we've got the the two bolts removed. Those are both 10 millimeter. And now, in order to remove this, oh, you can't really see. In order to remove this from the vehicle. Uh, down here in the center, and then you can right where my finger is. You're not gonna be able to see that. There you go. You've got to you pop this out of the uh, of the metal. There, it's just a rubber connector that's a press fit in there. So give that a good tug, and we'll take this assembly up and out. Okay, so we removed uh, the wiper motor assembly and disconnected this connector. It's just a snap-on connector, you know, typical GM under hood, not the easiest thing to remove. Uh, so now what we can do is oops, lift this up and take it out of the vehicle.
in my next steps, if you can see these screws here, I'm going to take these Torx screws. There's three of them. Whoa. So we're going to remove the back plastic part from here to expose the gear. I suspect it's full of grease, and we're going to clean that bad boy off and then assemble, okay? So I'm going to take these bolts off and then, uh, or Torx nuts, I'm sorry, and then we'll get back and uh, show you how we're doing. Nice time to clean under here as well. All right. All right, so I got the three bolts removed. Um, and then what you're going to do is pull up on this here. Carefully remove this cover. There is a, there's a lot of adhesive around here. And you'll hear some crackling and popping, but go slow. Uh, that's just the adhesive. You don't want to crack this housing, uh, stating the obvious, okay? And so I already took this off. And as expected, you see all the oil and grease and grime there, and then let me set this here. Here you can see all the adhesive I was talking about around the edges. But the point I want to draw your attention to are these two contacts here. Slide along that plate there. Now you can see, look at all the look at all the goo that's collected on there. Oop, here let me go. You know, it's just completely greased up and then here too so what I'm going to do is clean this off basically uh, the, the contacts there hopefully you can see them this comes in focus and then the, uh, the contact wheel there we're gonna get all of that shit off of there okay and that should fix the problem then we're gonna go back to assemble uh, or reassemble I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done cleaning okay I showed you the before with all the grease all over everything now here's the after we've got it all cleaned up you can see these two tracks are where the contacts ride against. Let me try to get that in view. There you go. All cleaned up. Contacts themselves are cleaning, or cleaned, I'm sorry, shiny. So now, uh, well, we basically we put this thing back together. Um, I don't, you don't need to see me do all that. We're going we're gonna to reassemble the way we took it apart. And after I get everything back together, and remember to line up the wipers with the, with the tape that we put on the windshield, right? Uh, we'll be back and we'll give this a shot. Hopefully these move up and down very smooth, not choppy and, and stopping halfway down like they used to. All right, so that, that's, that's it. Really pretty simple fix. All right, we got her buttoned up again. That literally took five minutes, so this is nothing. All right, here's the test. So I'm going to just spray up here a little bit of water. Let's see how this smooth. Look at that. Beautiful. If you have jumping wipers, uh, or those that stop, take about an hour, that's about all this took, maybe even a little less than that because I was filming. Clean off that gear, that's it, look at this. Just like new. Alright, so that concludes the video. I hope you find this useful. Uh, you know, tell your friends if they're having issues, don't go spend 150, 200 bucks on a new motor, it's not needed, just, uh, just follow this simple procedure and uh, yeah, wiper's good as new. All right. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed.